हेलो Hello. Yes, hello. Yes, Ayan. Uh, did you try? Yes, I did. I got fifteen. You got fifteen. So number of sites are fifteen. Yes. How did you get? Uh, I did one eighty minus one fifty six, and then I uh, I got twenty four, and then three sixty divided by twenty four. Very nice. So yes. number of sites n equal to what you got? Fifteen. Wonderful. So first part is done. Now move on to the next one. Sir, I can't uh, see your screen. Okay. Let me let me share. Maybe it's resume share. Now okay. Yeah, I can. Now can you see the question? No, I so I don't see the question. I see uh, this Google thing. Wait, wait. Let's share again because uh, the battery okay. was. Okay. Now fine. Yes. Okay. Now see uh, if you find the number of side is fifteen. So now next thing is uh, ACD. <coughs> ACD. <coughs> How we will do the CD in this question? That was the previous one. Now this is new. So now in this new. So should hide the previous one. So A C D. How you will do ACD? This is similar as the before you have done. So what you will do for ACD? This is almost similar. I am telling you. So if you know uh, the angle, number of side is fifteen. You done and uh, part and B. What is angle B? If I ask you, angle B. What is angle B? Mm. You angle B was already given. Angle B was already fifty-six. Uh -huh. That was interior yeah. angle. But from interior angle, okay. you can find these two two same angle of isosceles. Tell me quickly, what are these two same angle? This and this. A and C will be seventy-eight, right? How seventy-eight? Yeah, seventy-eight. One fifty-six. You will subtract one eighty, then divide by two. You will get equal. Oh, sorry. One fifty-six. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, twelve. Sorry. Twelve. Okay, I get this one twelve. 
now 12 is not required so if they ask a d c okay this is another question a d c now the second thing is a b c this is this a d c now they are required this one for a d c what we will do hmm. A, D, C. And I tell you that uh, one thing I, I must tell you that uh, B, C, this figure is a little bit, You I have to make like this. B, C, if you see in the question, C, see in the question, B, C and A, D is parallel, right? Yes. This is B, C. This is B, C is this. I tell you again. B, C and, and A, D these are parallel and one line is going like that like that and this was 18 okay this okay if you see alternate angle this will come 18 over here this will come here 18 this will be also 18 so and yeah now, and now you know this angle already this the total was 156 156 minus 18 you will get this one like previous question 156 minus 18 Okay, do subtraction. 138. 138. I write here 138. Now tell me this angle. Which angle? This angle, ADC. Your question is ADC. Oh, ADC. AD. Okay, so D. ADC. You know two angles of this triangle. Okay. You can find third one. Easy. 158. Hmm. Is one 138, 118. What will be the third angle in this triangle? So one second, sir, uh, this uh, C, that one is 138, right? Yeah, we got 138. the 138. Yeah, use one. Yeah, 138. Okay. You can see now. 138 we found. Because we... 24? Yeah, not 24. So you, you added both and subtract from 180? Got it? Yes. Very good. Yeah. So you got 24. This question is done now. Okay. okay so in every question i will take you step by step uh, that you yeah. learn first one concept now second concept now i hope you have, that you will try this question successfully now see this question uh, first of all you must observe always observe in the question what are the parallel lines right and try to apply the property i told you the supplementary angle when the parallel lines are given some of the uh, angles are some of two angles are now between parallel lines is 180 right apply always always this property when the parallel line are given there is something and also here is written a b bisect c a f what does it mean by bisect a b bisect bisect mean it's cutting through yeah, the, the cutting, line. cutting two equal part right bisect bisect mean two yes. equal, right so cutting to c a f okay. Where is CAF? CAF means the two angles will be same. Which two angles will be same? If they are saying that AB bisect CAF, first of all, you have to observe this one. CAF, yeah, fine. Yes, see, from CAF, fine. in CAF, which two angles are same? In this, in this, they said CAF, they use this word, right? They use this angle C, C, A, F right and a, Sir, 58 and y will be same yes 58 and this 58 and y it's okay but i'm asking about this one this is bisect this angle c a f yeah e a f and this line is bisect so which two angles are same over here mm. this is going like uh, and this is bisector a b is a bisector bisector right so this is bisect. yes this will be what? Where my pointer is there. This angle will be? Um, let me see. Here bisect, yeah. Bisect, this angle is this A, C, A, F. 98. No, this is also 58. Bisect mean I told you equal. Equal, okay. You what? Bisect. Okay, so B, A, F will be 58 also. Yes, yes. B, A, F also 58. So you, you will write B, A, F also 58, right? Because... Fine. Because, yeah. because you have to read the question what they are asking this is very important this is bisector this bisector if this is 58 so this will be also 58 
I got this on this point only because in the wording they gave you. So now, mm -hmm. this is 58, this is 58. What will be X? Okay. So it will be 64. Very good. You add it and subtract from 180. Yeah. That part a student do very quickly. Okay. Now come on to the next question. This is done. Plus. Now come on to the next question. Next question. Can you see over here? You will do yes. this whole question by yourself. Now read this question and try. A, In the diagram. A, B, C, D is parallelogram. A, B, C, D. Yeah, A, B, C, D is parallelogram. Okay. Then A, F, F equal to B, F equal to A, B, F equal to 54. This is uh, 54. And this A, C, B, F, this is 57. C, B, F is 57. So now you need to find this. Uh, what first uh, you need to find T T is this one first you need to find this one T right and then you need to find this U U is this and then X X is this and then Y the Y is innocent is this so how you will start for this sir can I start with uh with X? Uh, uh, huh, you can. No problem. You can okay. start with X. Because you are feeling that this is that isosceles is triangle? It's equilateral triangle. No. Because it's both equal. sides are equal. So this is equal. If two sides equal, this is not equilateral. Equilateral are three sides equal. This is isosceles. Okay. Okay. Fine. So use isosceles property and find X. That's okay, no problem. So, uh, BAF will also be 54. Yeah. 57, sorry. 57. 54. This is 54. This 54? Okay. This is 54, this is 54. If you cannot see. Yeah, okay. fine. Yeah. Okay. Little more bigger. <coughs> so, this is 54. X and then X will be 72. Okay, you added and subtracted, huh? So, okay, you yeah. done first. Very good. Now, go on to the next one. Can you tell me how, how to find T? T. Okay. Yeah, T. Yes. T. Okay. As are not equal. Okay. Yeah, this is T. And upper one is. So, that will, T will be. Fifty four. Um, sir, T will be. T will be God. Will be. T will be one twenty six. How? One eighty minus fifty four. There. Yes, you are right. Not one. Uh, one eighty minus fifty four. This total, yar. This total. This total. Okay. This total. This total. This total. Yeah. Well, yeah. This total yeah. will subtract from one eighty. You will get this one. This t. Uh, okay, that's the. Sixty nine. Fine. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. Yes. One hundred eleven minus one eighty. Yes. So 69. that's also done. Sixty nine. Okay, what is the next thing now? In this, uh, you have done, you done X, now the turn is U. U. Um. You will do now. You. Four, 
um sir can i say that uh bad is like it's ni- a total 90 degrees bad yeah how bad is 90 degree are you people always try to make 90 degree this is not 90 degree however i told you that these are the two parallel sides right yes this is not 90 degree you have some other thing to calculate you and you know this thing right Yeah, you know this angle. You know this angle T. This and this. Yeah, T was. Uh... This and this is parallel, right? You, okay. You know this angle. T and Y is parallel. This line BC and AD is parallel. From okay. that you can bring T over here also. If you subtract from 180 degree, T from 180, you can get this angle also. Mm. Yes, you can do okay. these things. So can I uh, can I bring uh, that 111 to ADC? Uh, ADC. 111 ADC. To, yeah. ADC. How you can? Yeah. This this total angle is equal to this one because this is. Yeah. Yeah. You can bring over here. That's the same thing. Makes no difference. Okay, so y is equal to sixty nine also. So, no. so you get this one. You get this one right now, and you already know this one, right? Only y is remaining. You can easily find. Hmm. What you have to do is this. Yeah. I told you that this angle is was already this angle was already this angle. This I am talking about this. This angle was already what fifty four, right? Yes. So it will be fifteen. Why will be fifteen? Why will be fifteen? Yes. Yeah, because the total you know it. Total total was yeah. how much? Total was how much? This total was how much? This total will be sixty nine. A sixty nine minus fifty four, right? Yeah. Exactly. Because whatever the t, it is same, right? Yes. T minus this fifty four, you will get y, right? Okay. Very, yes. Very nice. Now find u. The last thing is remaining u. How you will find this U? Finding U. Hmm. Wait, that triangle. Yes, find U. Okay, now you. Uh... So how you will find you? You know this x. You know, you found already x. What was x? Yes. One zero eight, right? Uh, one zero eight, yeah. And what was y? This one. You already calculated. Yes, just calculated y. What you calculated that time? Y. Oh, what's it? Fifty four minus sixty nine. Yeah, I got. I I got fifteen. Okay, fifteen is this, and what is this? If you subtract this one eighty minus one zero eight, you will get this one, right? What it will be seventy two. Seventy two. Now find you easy. Like this, you have to make manage the questions. Okay, so fifteen. Uh, yeah, fifteen plus seventy two minus one eighty. You will get the last one. That is you, sir. Where did seventy two come from? Seventy two is this is straight line. Yeah, this is straight line. The straight line is always one eighty. So you will subtract this one. I am taking okay. the straight line. So this whole angle will come seventy two. So, so it will be ninety three. Yeah. Then you will use this triangle. This is seventy two, and this is fifteen. Now you is remaining only this. You will reach onto the easy position. Okay, boy, done. Now, very quickly, do the question number six. This one. So number six. Okay. Oh, twenty-five to do.
do size. Sir, is uh, AD equal to AB? Yeah, AC equal to AB. Not AD. Okay, sir. I, I didn't write AD. I write AC equal to AB. It's a very easy question. Okay, so... So ACB will be 42. Okay, ACB. Yes, yes, you are right. Now you get it. 42. Mm. Um, that will be 42. ACB. Yes, you are right. If this is 42, this will be also 42. Now, yes, 42. Move further. And this one is 35. Now, what you will do to reach 2x? Uh, sir, mm -hmm. uh, B, uh, BAC will be 96. Okay. BAC? Well, I don't need BAC, I, I, I don't need, I need X. Mm. Okay, fine. So that one is... One thirty eight. So uh, ACD will be one thirty eight. ACD, this one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Now you are going correct. Now find X. Uh, one thirty two. Thirty eight. So thirty eight. Sure. X. One second. Forty-two. You did like this. You did like this. It should be very small and. Like uh, yeah, yeah. I I was getting it. One second. I'm doing it wrong. Okay. I know how to do it. Let me do it. One forty forty-two. Yes, because uh, the third angle is missing. Only third angle is remaining. Your idea is correct. And you get Sir, it. answer is seven. Well, class then. Answer is seven. X is seven. Yeah, very yeah. small angle. Now move on to the next one. Next question is this one. You know, for this question, I give you uh, some information more. That is uh, the two uh, the two polygon are the same. Both polygon are same. Okay. Okay. So the two polygon like this. Uh, you in the exam you must understand what they are giving you this one polygon is going upper side and one polygon is going lower side but both are same voila so from this they give you 165 right and they require yes this. what you will do now it's very easy very quickly you can tell me this X. sir one one quick question hmm. so that formula uh, for like size equals to 360 divided by one exterior angle like that it only it's only for regular figures most yeah, of the yeah, time yeah, yeah, so most. is this figure a regular figure this is regular yeah, this this and this both are same same polygon right this is regular this how do i know if it's a irregular figure uh, they they will not give you uh, the the word regular right they will give you the word regular right okay they always write the regular right. word so in the diagram if you see this question in the diagram the part of the polygon is given each interior angle is 165 each interior angle means it's regular right if they yes. write the wording like that each interior angle is 165 means all angles are 165 find the number of side so first of all tell me the number of side if in this every is 165 every interior angle is 165 what is the how many number of sides in this okay sir i got 24 very good so first you calculated the exterior angle right and then divide huh you did like yes it? very good so what is what's the exterior divided angle? by 15 yeah yeah, divided by 15. So 360 divided by 15. 15. Because 65, 70, 80. Yes. So answer is what? 24? 24. 24. 24 is number of 
sides okay first problem is done now the next one in the next they ask in this part in the second part b part they say apq is a part of regular polygon find x of 12 side okay this is 12 side this APQ. is APQ this in this in this in this is is 24 sides right in this is is 12 sides yes not, not equal both are different so, oh, so it's wrong one, yeah no this one is 165 right this one is 165 mm. the upper yes. polygon the upper polygon has consist of 24 sides that was correct now this in the second part they are saying that the 12 sides in this polygon the next polygon right Okay. If the 12 sides are in the next polygon, what will be the one angle? If the, 12 sides. Yeah, if the sides are given 12, what will be the one angle? This angle. What will be this angle? 30. Huh? 30. 30? 30. 30? Yeah. How? Yes. 360 divided by 12. Will be 30. No, but the th 12, uh, 12 sides. Okay. So 30 will be exterior, not interior. 30 will be this one. You, you will get exterior angle, not interior, right? Your idea is yes. correct, but you will get exterior angle. Now, what will be the interior if the exterior is 30? One second, let me see. So, it's 30. Yeah. Uh, all divided by... Yeah, what will No. So what will be the interior if the exterior is 30? Interior angle. Yeah. Okay, so, so interior angle. So simple. Uh, if the exterior Sorry, is 30. Yeah. If Let the me exterior try to is 30. Okay, do. One, then. Hmm. Two, three, two. 150? Yes, of course, yeah. 150. So okay. this is 150. Okay. So this one is also 150. So means this one is, this one came 150, right? Exterior yes. angle of the, this polygon is 30. So you will subtract from 180, you will get this one is 150. So this this side is, this angle is also 150, right? Now how, yes. how you will find this X now? Okay, so, wait, so B is 150. Hmm. 165. Oh, then 45. What is 45? How you got it? Uh, so 165 hmm. plus no, uh, 165 plus 150 equals to 315. So 360 minus 315. 45. 45? Yes. Sure? Yes. Yes, very nice. So, because uh, you will use the total 360. You got it? Yes, got it. If you, get the, if you use the 360, this total is 360. So, 360 means you, uh, you got this 150. 150 plus 165 and then subtract from 180. From 360, you will get X. Right? Very good. Yes. Okay, now next one is, see in this, which two lines are parallel in this? Uh, AC and e -G -E -H. A -C -N -E -H. E -H. Okay, so what you will do in this question, A, B, C and E, F, G, H are parallel lines and, uh, and then the D, L intersect A, C. D, L is this. DL is basically this one. This one is DL. D to L, right? Intersect this intersect intersect AC. Uh, intersect AC at B means at B this this point this this is intersection. So and EH at F or EH is intersecting at F over here. So these they are pointing these two points B and F. Now F L G is 68 means this is 68. 
so you will use this information to calculate bfg 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 means bfg is this angle right you will find yes, bfg is that okay tell me how you will find this angle if this bfg is this is isosceles triangle you see i put a dot i put this there uh, so this is isosceles okay. and you need to find this outer angle now tell me mm. how you will do um okay <sighs> so gl okay so gl hmm. so so lg and gf are equal sides yeah okay fg and lg so, equal sides so so fgl will be 68 also yeah very good so means you reach at this point you said this okay, and 68. this so these two yes. equal you reach at this point now you need this yes. what you will do now okay so so um gfl is 44 okay g f l Okay, you get this one is also 44 by applying the 44. easy property and okay, you will get easily now. 44. Now this and one. then uh, G uh, B F G hmm. is uh, 36, 136. Okay, done. Very nice. You done this one. The next is so means D and F D F H equal to 136. You calculate it. And now, next one is uh, you will find the second thing is FGL. Okay, find FGL. FGL. FGL you already found. This is yeah. It. Okay, next move on to the next one. DBA. DBA. Hmm. DBA. Okay, DBA. Yeah, DB. Oh, so that one is one second. We got sixty-eight. Uh, one second. FGL. FGL. When you already calculated, but you are unable to tell me. Yeah. You already calculated, well, but you have to write only over there. DFH. D yeah. I'm DFH. D B A. This. This angle. Yeah, I'm checking all of it. This this angle. What is this angle? DBA. In the beginning, I told you all the. DBA. Yeah, DBA. Uh, okay. Yeah. So DBA is also thirty six. No. How come thirty six? How come come one thirty? Alternate angles. No. Alternate no? angle. Alternate angle are not like this. This 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 alternate angle is this. One thirty six will go over here. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. We'll mm. go there. Fine. Why don't you go there. This, this 44 will go over here, right? Then why don't yes. you this 44 over here? This is a corresponding angle, right? I told you that yeah. you already calculated. The answer is 44. But Yeah, 44. All is done. Okay. Next. Mm. Okay, this is done. This sheet is done now. Uh, I told you one thing. Uh, where is that one? I saw I, one more. I prepare for you. Mm, yes, this one. Few questions you can now understand from this because you, you know this angle properties are very important uh, in order to understand the uh, trigonometric question and all that. So yes. whatever I have written in this, yeah. See, see this question see this question which two sides are parallel they will give in the information this is trapezium trapezium means two parallel and two non-parallel side right okay two so in this parallel. question you have to find what you need to find the missing angles missing angles inside okay you will calculate the perpendicular distance b to ad as h in the area of trapezium and the uh, values of h and this everything you need to calculate 
So okay. I have to a little minimize it so that you can see. Yes, the first thing you will see, you will calculate the area of trapezium. Quickly calculate area, then we will be able to do some more thing. Okay. Um. Tell me area of trapezium. Area of this trapezium. A plus B. Yeah. Um, we were able to do this. Okay. Tell me quickly. Six. Yeah. It's area of trapezium. Two times height is five. Yeah. Thirty thirty seven point five. Okay. okay. Nine and six. This nine plus. Yeah, six nine and six. Fifteen. Fifteen divided by two multiplied yeah. by four. Right. Area is. So what about I did multiplied by five. What if I did divided by two multiplied by four? Not five. Five uh -huh. is slant. This perpendicular distance. Height is this. Okay, fine. Fine. Got right. It. So two four is yes. the four thirty. Area is thirty centimeters square. Area of trapezium. Thirty centimeters. Okay. Now move on to the next part. The value of h. For the value of h, we will work now. Value of h means this is h. This oh. is h. h is basically perpendicular distance. If this is trapezium, this is trapezium. H is this, which is perpendicular onto this one. This is perpendicular height. If I know in any way, if I know the area of this triangle, I can easily find this one. So this is suppose five, right? And this is six. Yes. And this we will use this one one technique in this question. And a this is nine and this is six. So if I, and this is four, I know the whole area. If I calculate the area of this triangle only, this triangle, right? So what I will yes. use half base into height. Half, the base is four, and height is six. So this will be twelve. Twelve centimeters square is the area of this triangle. Twelve centimeters square, right? Now for this yes. area, area of this triangle, I will get area of ADC. Area of ADC. Area of ADC. What I will do? The total area was thirty minus twelve. How much is remaining? Thirty minus twelve. Ah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen centimeters is the area of ADB. ADC. So, ADB. Ah, ADB. This area, right? Because total minus twelve I did. Yes. So ADB I am making yes, here again. I am making again here ADB. So this one is ninety degree. Now this one is H. This one is H, right? So what is that? The formula again. I am using the formula, but I will rotate that triangle. I rotate this triangle. See, I rotate this triangle like this. This is my base. This okay. is my height. Half base into height equal to area, right? Area. Yes. I, area. I already know. Eighteen and half multiplied by this base was six, right? If you see in uh, yep. this base, this base was. This base was what five. This base was five in the in the question. This base was five. So one upon two five times h, right? Five times h. Okay. H. So h is required. This h is required. So h will be first two will move over there. Thirty six. Thirty six divided by five. Now do tell me thirty six divided by five is what? Seven point two. Okay done. This seven point two. So you know, uh, this is the technique. Sometimes we have to rotate the triangles also. So this time round, I make oh, okay. this one is base and this one is height, right? The formula is same if I know the yes. Base. And if I know the base, I can find height. Simple. So it can. It's not yeah, that this is right angle triangle, but perpendicular height we must use. That's the main thing. Okay. Next thing is, uh, in any other yeah B part. In the B part, see this question. They said the triangle is given. Two triangles are given. 
and in the two triangle what we need to do uh, first uh, in this you see what you need to find calculate rs 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 now you can use sokato right yes rs or rs is what adjacent base or hypotenuse is what if you you, you want to use p rs so rs will be what i mean uh, uh that's my word sir rs is uh what do you call it it's adjacent oh very nice so this is 90 degree triangle so this one is 51 and this is adjacent is x s r and this one is p and this is 8 so you will use cos adjacent yes. to hypotenuse. So cos 50 yeah. equal to x over 8. So x equal to 8 cos 50. Type on your calculator very quickly. Well, what did you write, sir? x equals to? 8 cos 51. 8 cos 51. 8 cos 51. 5.03 then 5.03 the first thing you done next thing is uh, calculate pqr pqr okay pqr, PQR. yeah this i make for you uh, this and this this is 8.5 this is 95 and this one we don't know this is 8 and Q and P. PQR. PQR means this angle we need to find. This angle is suppose Y. So which law you will use? How um, we have to find PQR. PQR. So um, we use a uh, sine sine rule. Sine rule. Okay. So how to write sine rule? Tell me. I will write for you. Uh, Eight over okay. oh, sine okay. sine yeah. y sine y over sine yeah, y over eight point five. No, yeah, sine y over opposite. Yeah, opposite. Sine y. Oh yeah, sine y equals over eight. No? Over, eight. over eight. Yes. Whatever the uh, missing yeah. missing yeah. thing, you must write in the numerator. It's good, right? Equal to yes. Equal to sine ninety five divided by eight point five. Right. Eight point five. Now calculate y. Yes. Now calculate y please. Okay. Eight times sine five. Uh PQ so zero seven. Mm, one second. So, Sir, the angle will be 69.5. Okay. I just uh, say this is, you did like this sine inverse. Uh, 8 yes. sine 95 divided by 8.5. Right? Yep. I will check. Shift. So shift sign, then bracket. Uh, 8 into sine 95 and divided by 8.5 pack it up so the answer is 69.6 huh yeah good 69.6 the next part they are saying that uh, if you make a circle and circle is passed from p q r s does it pass from q voila you remember some circle. circle. This is 90 degree. And this was coming over here. And it's like this. They say that if this is uh, PQRS like that. If this is PQRS. P Q P Q P Q R and S. And if it is going like this, right? If suppose going like yes. this, means circle is passed. I made this one. 
but I have to check in some other ways. When I told you that when the circle meets at the four corners, right? What is the basic condition when the circle, if you confirm that this is all the vertices are, lies on the circle. All the vertices of this quadrilateral lies on the circle. So what is the condition? You remember one condition I told you? Uh, A, B, C, D. No, sir, I don't know. How much the opposite angle? This is what? Oh, equal. Opposite angle will be equal. Oh, well, equal to 180. Yeah, so this and this sum is 180. If this these two sum is 180, you can say this is 90, right? Yeah. Was yes. that 90? Why was not 90? Why we just calculated why that was 69, right? So you will write since yes. since uh, angle, you will say PQ in the PQR plus angle uh, PSR is not equal to 180 degree. You will write like this in exam, right? This is not equal to. Therefore, Q uh, does not lies on circle. Doesn't lies on circle. Got it? Mm, sorry, explain one more time. Yeah, because you know, I told you that the sum of these two must be 180. Yeah. Sum of opposite. So, this is not... This is not equal to 180. This is 90. It should be also 90. Yeah. So this is 69. We got it. So it's yeah. not cyclic quadrilateral. You will write no cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, fine. Got it? In in, in case it. of circle, this is cyclic quadrilateral. If there, there is a cyclic quadrilateral, all corners lies on the circuit. So where is the center of the circle? center where is the center of the circle if i say okay q is not lies on the circle but there may be a point q should be over here another point we call it t that over here so where the center of this this circle lies on which line the center of the circle lies in this figure in this figure if i make a circle if i make t another mm -hmm. on which line your center will lie in this circle this is a curve. Um, this is last part. On a one number, one mark. Where is the center? PR. Yes, you are right because diameter, right? Yes. I think blind man can also tell that PR. <laughs> <laughs> so you you old, but you are not blind, right? Yes. Today you are looking young, not old. You participate. Well. Thank you, sir. There's a good participation is required. Okay, that rest of the question you can try. Right? I will send you this worksheet on WhatsApp. Oh yeah. You can try this, right? Okay. The so next time we will do okay, sir. the bearings. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Bearings. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. sir. Please okay, you. Thank you. Take care.